Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I know it's been a while. Um, I've kind of, you know, had a break sort of on and off over the past few months. Uh, but uh, this is the first one I've done for over a month. Proper video. So um, I'm glad to be uh, doing it again. And uh, I know I procrastinate a lot, um, but I've been doing other things. Um, but anyway, I'll shut the hell up about that and let's concentrate on today's exercise. Well, <clears throat> it's a pattern really, um, but it can be used as an exercise. There's always, you know, with everything that you play in terms of exercises, there's always problem areas that you can work on. So I guess everything is an exercise in, in some way. But we've got to try and make things as musical as possible. That's really the, the, uh, the crux of the matter here. So the main focus of today's um, little pattern is left hand only um, work. So uh, that's really why I put this little pattern together. And uh, it focus on, focuses on a couple of things. Number one is hammering on um, with the index finger. Um, that's something I'm really, really trying to work hard on. <laughs> I better rephrase that. I'm working extremely hard <laughs> with this technique, okay? So, um, so that's one thing. The other thing is position shifts when you're doing it. Um, when, I, when I'm playing this, I really, really want to make it sound like there's, there's no gap between any of the notes. And I want to make it sound as smooth as possible. So why don't we get straight <laughs> into it and uh, let's start, okay? So let's take the first pattern. We're, we're playing basically uh, three notes on every string, but we're moving that pattern around. All right, so we're going to start here, fret two, and we're going to do this. Uh, sorry, beg your pardon, it's this. Now you've got two choices here. You can do all hammers, like so, or a hammer here, hammer here, and then pull off. So I'll leave that um, to your discretion. You can do whatever you like. Uh, what I'm doing is actually pulling off to that third note. Okay, so that's our, that's our little motif. Okay. So, when we hammer on, we've got to make sure we keep everything nice and clean. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move up diatonically, but what, we, what we're going to have to do is swap the second finger with the index finger. Swap. Okay. And what we want to try and avoid when we're doing this, uh, specifically just for this exercise, you don't have to do it all the time, but that, that's the main focus with this, is kind of to make the notes, like I said before, to avoid any kind of gap between the notes so we can make them as legato as possible. And it gives it a very, very synth-like quality, and I, I love that. So let's do it again. Hammer, hammer, off, hammer. And then continue the pattern. You see where I'm going with that? So we're gonna ascend all the way up to here, up to fret 12, so. Okay, a little bit of a break there, a bit of a slight diversion, but, um, <clears throat> so that pattern again. On, on, on. On. And this is where we can introduce uh, whatever picking pattern that you want to use. I'm doing up, on, up, 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 off, on, down. But you can, you know, like I said before, you know, do, do whatever you like with that section. So, nice and slowly. Oaks bollocks. Jesus. Oops. And again, keep it as clean as possible. Uh, you can turn your gain down to clean it up, but I like to use, uh, you know, a half decent amount of gain so that I know that I'm really working on my muting technique correctly. So, so we're going to start, we're going to continue again. So we're going to start here. Same principle. It's 
gets a bit more challenging as you move up the frets, I think, as the frets get, you know, closer in. So, same again. So we're using the same technique. So here, what do we have? We have a G7. So once we do the dominant seventh arpeggio, we're going to do exactly what we did before, but it's a lot more challenging because when we hammer here, there's a bit more of a stretch. So it's a lot more difficult to get that sort of real legato sound uh, because of the position shifts. Okay. And then we can do the same as we did when we we're ascending here, but again, that's the awkward part. So once more, shift. And again, keep it as clean as you possibly can. And then we're gonna to move to um, this. And I slide into that just to give myself a little bit of respite there because it's bloody difficult. So. I play an open E string there and finish with that chord. Okay. So let's do it nice and steadily. that's the whole pattern um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure you take it nice and steady keep nice and relaxed very easy to tense up especially when you're doing this kind of left hand only thing um, just before I finish make sure you check my website out for lesson downloads it's currently 30% off using code rgsave30 so support your boy and buy some stuff from there anyway hope you've enjoyed today and uh, I will see you again very soon for another video cheers